Good afternoon to you. I'm Erica Fox. We begin with the transportation crisis at JCPS as the new school year is on hold. The district canceled school today and tomorrow after some kids didn't get off the bus until nearly 10 o'clock last night. This was the first test of a new transportation plan and the district leaders are apologizing for the major issues. The district adjusted school start times and bus routes this year with the goal of easing delays and related to bus driver shortages. The last JCPS student got dropped off at 9.58 last night, more than five hours after the last school dismissal. We heard from some parents who say their children were dropped off at the wrong school in the morning, while others were dropped off at the wrong bus stop in the afternoon. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio decided to cancel classes so the district can fix the massive transportation problems. I had to make this decision today because we have to get better. I can say that change is hard and it is. The massive change we are undertaking is extremely difficult. But in the end, that can't be the excuse. We have to be better at what we are doing. And once again, I'll say this, that lies squarely on my shoulders and my team's shoulders. It is not on bus drivers, it's not on the school, it's on me and my team, and we are going to fix this. And the JCPS communications director says these two missed days will be treated as traditional snow days. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg says he talked to Dr. Polio this morning and offered any help from Metro government. He also shared a message to families and business owners. Uh, I also understand the disappointment that parents around our city have this morning. And I also ask employers to show some understanding and flexibility with parents of JCPS students who were thrown um, this curveball. And so please, if you're an employer, have some flexibility and show some understanding. JCPS board member Chris Kolb released a statement today saying in part what happened yesterday was totally unacceptable and simply cannot happen ever again. As Dr. Polio did, I apologize to all of our students, families and staff to the larger community. However, as a board member, it's clear that I did not do enough to ensure that JCPS administration invested the time and resource to adequately prepare for such momentous, momentous change. Two places in Louisville are offering deals for the next two days for JCPS students who are out of school. The Louisville Zoo is offering $3 off admission. You can get the tickets at the admissions window. And the Muhammad Ali Center is free today and tomorrow for JCPS students and one adult per child. You will need to show verification that your child is a JCPS student. WLKY will continue to follow the JCPS transportation crisis. We're going to bring you the latest updates right here on WLKY and online. You can also watch Dr. Polio's full statement right now on our website, WLKY.com.